Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? Frank? I'm doing well. Uh -huh. I'm a little upset. I don't have a fudgesicle, but I am here. Yeah. <laughs> this is my second fudgesicle. Fudge fudgesicle? Do you want to try again? I second my... My second fudgesicle. Fud... Yo, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? What's my, going on? My second fudgesicle. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? <laughs> What's in that? How to say it. Fudgesicle? My second fudgesicle. Thank you, God. That was that was that even that wasn't that clean I was and crisp. The, yeah, I think this is also our second time starting to record because started realized Joey didn't hit the record button. Daddy forgot to hit record. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up. Uh, you've been tonguing that thing down for the last fucking five six minutes. Yo, fudge pops underrated. Uh, I think they're appropriately rated. Where are they rated? Right, you know, right in the middle. I don't think that they're like the high end. One like, of the best pops. I don't think they're like a lick of color, but you know they're a not, lick of color. They're not as bad as a strawberry shortcake one or that. that, that strawberry shortcakes aren't bad. I mean, the ice pop ones are trash. Not as good as chocolate eclairs. We can agree on that. Oh yeah, obviously. Uh, but I think those are fire. They're right in the middle. You know what suck? Count it. Three, two, one. Creamsicles. So bad. Oh, it's like sherbet. Ugh. Uh, did you say sherbet or sherbet? Sherbet. People say sherbet. Yeah. Oh, fuck I'm like, you. Fuck you. Like what the fuck? <laughs> we don't say malagna. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we don't. Yeah. No one says that. But like, f uh, orange creamsicles are fucking garbage. Yeah. My mom. I think I've said this before, but my mom for dessert used to buy this thing that looked like a loaf of bread, but it was just a sherbet uh, ice cream, and she would just cut it like. like I it was do weird. like. I do like sherbet. Like. Oh, I don't. I the only sherbet disgusting. I do like, I will say, is is Baskin Robbins Rainbow Sherbet. It is very good. Oh wow, that sucks. It's all good corn syrup. No, that's disgusting. It's so good though. No, nah, dude. I'm a very you like mint shit too. No, 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 no. Uh, I do not. I'm not one of those psychopaths that has fucking chocolate chip mint. Yeah, mint chocolate fucking suck yeah. a suck a fart fuck. Yeah, it's like toothpaste with just fucking loads of dark chocolate in your mouth. It's gross. Yeah, I'm not about that. Um, anyway, I wanted to read this DM that I got. Um, it's very interesting. There's a lot of emojis. I'll show you the real quick. Holy bing, shit. bing, bong. Yeah, so there's a lot. So I'm not going to read all of them. I'm just going to do the emojis as they pop up. Uh, like with your face? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is a joke or if it's real. So I'm going to need some help. Is this... do? Is, this is just... You, this got sent to you. No, like... No, this is the first message I ever received from this person. Okay. Um... So it starts off a little hot. Yeah, okay. Oh, daddy. <laughs> that face. <laughs> what face is that? Oh, like the... Oh, my fuck. Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh. So it said, it said, oh, daddy, is... Okay. Is your little egg slut... All right, I can't do the emojis. What? Take a little egg slut? Yeah, we're good. Right, I'm what is it. that? This is the message I got on Instagram. Oh, daddy, is your little egg slut turning you on? I can see that cock getting hard at the sight of my yoke. Who refers to anything about their sexuality as their yoke? Yeah, like, yo, you look at my yoke. Listen, I will say yoke, best part of the egg, but nothing on me is yoke, yokey. And I don't think that pusses are yokey. I've never, I've never been like, yo, it feel, feels like I'm up with some eggs right now. Oh, <laughs> I don't talk like that. But and, and if it's <laughs> dripping like yellow goo. Oh, doctor, doctor, big, doctor. Big problem. <laughs> yeah, that's not a WAP. That yeah. is a fucking, that that's is an a, ER visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked that's up. That's not a WAP. That's exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. At the side of my yoke. Do you think she's referring to her vagina, or is she referring to some sort of? You know, uh, I could say within, you know, to get to the some, some sort of juice reproductive eggs, you got to go through the vagina. Oh, she's talking about her ovaries. Maybe her ovaries. How would I be able to at the side of them? What was she? Like I mean, an ultrasound. I think like you know how they say like the eyes are the doorway to the soul. The ovaries are the doorway. The, the vagina is the doorways to the ovary and the, the eggs. But yeah, I guess. I don't so know. like you look out a window and you see like the beauty of life. You look into a vagina and you see the future. Of the ovaries, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of this. Yeah, it's hard. So it's, I can see that that hot... No, I threw... I was going to say hot cock, but that's not written here. I don't know why I said that. I can see that cock getting hot at the side of my yoke. Get over here. Oh. <laughs> Crack my naughty shell. Now I'm confused. Well... what What's the shell? What can be a shell? I think... The asshole? This sounds like someone that might have some sort of 
STI or something. So there, there is a thin layer of something covering the vagina. Is that a uh, like a hymen? A shell? I think the hymen's inside. Well, yeah. I think outside but, they, there's like, you know, like a Wonder Ball-esque like little chocolate shell, but it made of yolk apparently. You gotta, you gotta crack through it, and it's filled with yolk. Yeah, like you know how the Greeks do that game with the eggs? You know? No, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on Easter, the, the Greeks do this game with the eggs where they hard boil eggs, decorate them, make them all cute and whatever, and then everyone gets their egg, and they, like, battle, and they, like, hit the other egg, and whoever's cracks loses. And what whoever... the fuck are you talking about? Maybe that's what this is. Maybe Wait, the Greeks are egg fighting on Easter? <laughs> you didn't know this? No. Why the fuck would I know this? Maybe it's just my family, but they would be like... <laughs> They would be like, uh, Christo Zanesti, and the other person would go like, Anastasio Zanesti, and they would fucking bash the eggs together. What was that second one? That's exactly what it you was. You don't know what it is? Not one bit. Okay. As you can go like, I say Anastasios. That's a person's name. Yeah, that's that's our fourth grade teacher's last name. And close. It's close. But they bash the eggs together, and whoever has the egg at the end wins. I would always put my thumb at the end with what, a quarter on wait, it. Wait, what do you mean who has the egg? At the, what are you talking so about? So like, yo, so me, you, and e say like each of these lights are people. Because yeah. you can afford them. <laughs> All of us have an egg, and we hard boil, we decorate it, you know, put fucking, you know, that wax crayon or whatever. Yeah. And then we battle. We take our egg, and we go like Christos and Esti, Anastasios and Esti, <laughs> and we hit our eggs together. And if wh whoever's egg cracks, oh, loses. Gotcha. So maybe that's this. Maybe this is like, there's like a, they're like waiting for someone to crack their little. They're a little uh, naughty Pussy shell. Pussy shell? I don't no, know. She said naughty shell. Yeah. Get over here, crack my naughty shell. Which I thought it was, you know, an asshole. Because that's like a hard thing to get. The, you know, you can, you could just, you could kind of like waltz your way into a vagina. Uh, well, no, some people you can waltz your way in and out of a butthole. Depending, yes. Yes. I mean, who's, who's hitting you up? Jenna Jameson or someone of, of that stature? I don't know. But okay, we'll move on. Get over here, crack my naughty shell, and listen to me sizzle as I hit that hot, oily pan. Now, now I'm like completely. There's there's some foodies out there that might be really into this. Crack my naughty shell and think... listen to me sizzle as I hit that hot, oily pan. I think the naughty shell might be a like metaphorical metaphorical way of saying like I am under under this Shit, person this... you see. I'm a whore. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, my naughty shell is, like, what's going to get me there? Yeah, so crack my naughty shell. Crack my naughty shell. Make me a fucking dirty slut. Let me pour out into your oily pan. Yes. Do I, is it my pan, or is it, the like, a pan? I think the pan of life. The pan, like, the, yeah. Pan of life. The pan, like, society. Exactly. Okay. Well, I don't know why it would be oily. But then it says, fill, fill me up with your juices. Well, now... I don't know if I have. And what kind of juices do you put with egg? I guess milk. You put a little milk, make Hot it fluffy. Hot sauce, ketchup, maybe? But you don't fill it up. You kind of drizzle on top. Yeah, I never... Yeah, I can't fill an egg. This person, I think they're going for something here, but they're not really hitting it. I think they're using the wrong food. Yes. Is that the, that's the problem. Like, if they were like, hello, I'm a donut. Now I could fill that. Fill me with jelly. Yeah. Boston cream. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, exactly. Boston cream. Those are good donuts. Uh, they're okay. Jelly donuts are the supreme. Jelly donuts are great. Um, you can fry me as much as you want. As sex, I assume. Yeah. Um, daddy. <laughs> uh, but be careful not to overcook my yolks. What? All right. So this How is... can I do that? Well, over a lot of sex is going to overcook those. They're going to fuck up those ovaries. You go too far in, you're going to bash those bad boys up. And can now you, you Can you uh, have too much sex and ruin an, like an egg? You know, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, you're not going to like this next part. Oh, boy. I want them wet and runny just for you, egg daddy. Ew. That's how it ended. <laughs> so uh, clearly I'm the egg daddy. Well, yeah, you're the egg daddy. She wants them wet and runny. I, I will say I do like my eggs over easy. A lot of run to them. Uh, okay, you like, you like them? I like a lot of run to my eggs. Sprinting eggs. I want them to be, yeah. Like you know, a, the, just just like I bite into it and it's on my chin. Oh, you want it, you want it just a mess. I want a disaster going on on my plate. Gotcha. And clearly, this person does too. Yeah, but not on a plate, on an oily pan of life. Don't we all? Don't I, we all want to just be a mess on everyone else's oily pan? I don't know that I don't, but I don't know that I do. <laughs> you know what? You know that's, what I'm that's pretty fair. So uh, that's the message that I got. Just to run, I'm going to run through it, Barry. Here, here. Oh, go. Daddy, is your oh, okay? What's oh. wrong with you today? 
there's a thousand emojis. It's hard to read. I'm bouncing around fucking, you know, the, the, uh, that emoji. Like, Wait, every, can you do th- I haven't seen the rest of the emojis. What other emojis are there's, there? There's a lot, dude. There's like there's other faces. the spraying one. Yep. There's, there's an eggplant. There's an SOS in here. Dick. That was, uh, be careful not to overcook. That's when I got the yeah, SOS. SOS. Yeah, uh, SOS, yeah. There's a bunch of egg emojis, um, and there's a 100 emoji. You keep it. And there's a down, because it was like, get over here, come down here. Oh, well, see, there you go. Because I heard Downstairs. the get over here, and I'm like... Scorpion? What Mortal the Kombat? fuck is... Exactly. Yeah. And then, I guess, get over here is like, you know, like... Down here. They're not pointing, like, up here. They're pointing yeah. at... Yeah, yeah. It's very confusing. Like, get over here, and then it's like a down, so that maybe there's like... Anytime I think of that, I think of that scene from Bruno, where the he like he goes to the swingers party, and there's the I, I'm pretty sure she's like part of the show. Hey guys, uh, and and she like puts her leg up and she's like, get over here and lick my spike. My spike. Yeah, that's an interesting. I would have preferred spike over over these runny over eggs. runny eggs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they just made this like a like they're talking about their fucking reproductive organs the way people talk about like. Slipknot or Guar, like my fucking like what spiky you... shoulder pads are out here and they're dripping. Did you say <laughs> you say Guar? Yeah. What's Guar? Guar is the band that was always on Viva La Bam. Guar. Yeah. I've never heard of Guar. Google it. How do you spell it? G- how do you say it? G W A R, babe. Guar. Guar. Oh my god. These, yeah. These guys are dangerous looking. They are scary looking. They're like death metal. They're like demons. They're like death. Yeah. They're like. Their songs are like, yeah, and it's like about Satan and like having sex with like sandpaper or something. Mm-hmm. All right, well that's cool. But yeah, I got that's I, kind of a cool DM. Yeah, it was kind of dope. I, like when I got it, I saw a lot of emojis, and I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be a like a riddle. Um, but then, you know, I mean, that is a riddle. That's yeah, not. You need some creativity to decipher that. Not to you know throw any puns out there, but I think that we cracked this riddle. You damn fucking right, we and did. And it's nice and runny on an oily pan. Yeah. But be careful not to overcook them. Yeah, I have too many eggs at home now, and I'm gonna look at them differently because all I'm gonna see when I try to eat these eggs is pussy. <laughs> Pussy said it so violently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that was that was. The speaking DM of sharing. pussy, speaking of it. Did, oh, speaking of pussy. Yeah, yeah. Did, you know, I was. Did you see the video of that woman in Outback Steakhouse? No, bro. There is a video of a woman. I, I wish we could pull it up on on the TV. What she's like? Is it a Karen moment? It's it's a Karen moment, but like Karen on bath salts. So what would we call that? Like Tammy Faye. Wow, that name sucks. That name is what you would expect a Karen on bath salts to be, though. I guess so, yeah. It's a, a, an Outback Steakhouse in Florida. This is setting up <laughs> to be a fucking wild one, folks. Dude, have you ever been to an Outback Steakhouse? I have. I've been once. I've been once. And I don't remember hating it. No, I thought it was, I thought it was you know... Bloomin' Onion? Definitely didn't feel like I was in the Outback, that's for certain. Yeah, you know, and... It no, was in a strip mall. The one over here in Queens, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the one I went to. No one had an Australian accent. I was very upset. Yeah, come on, commit. Except for the person that, like, when you walked in, they had, like, the commercials come, like, playing. And it's like, wait, well, you got an back tonight. Yeah, or, like, the drunk guy at the bar who's, like, a thousand years old. And, like, he's just so drunk. So he's, and he's Irish, so he kind of sounds Australian. I love how that restaurant is just, like, the absolute biggest caricature of, like, what people think Australia is. <laughs> it's like, we're the Outback, and we're going to give you a shrimp on the barbie. I don't even remember what I got. I think I got a steak. I'm probably... Yeah, I think I got a steak or a burger at the time I was young when I went. Yeah. But out back in Florida. Okay. Think about that. That's like the Walmart of chain restaurants. Yeah. And there is this woman on top of the bar, like... Dancing. No. I wi- I mean, I don't wish she was dancing. She's taking everything in sight and launching it across this fucking outback. Nice. As far as... And she is butt naked. Dude, nothing on. Tits in the wind. She's just free bagging it? Free bagging, free balling. Her fucking cooter is whistling to the weed field. Yeah. (laughs) And this woman is just taking these fucking bottles and, yo, like, just launching them. Nice. That's rock and roll, baby. That is super rock and roll. (laughs) So she was, I don't want to, this is getting a little, this is an older woman. No, she was in, like, her, like, early 50s. 
I mean, that's an older woman, I guess. Ah, come on. I, I, she wasn't. A th I didn't think she was eighty up on the bar. You wouldn't be able. How to... How did the old bitch get up there? Oh, she she could have made it. That'd be a demon at that point. From she, looking, she had, a, she had a bush. She had a bush. She had a bush. From looking at this person, you wouldn't be able to tell. I mean, the video was also a little grainy. She had a bush. I I didn't see a bush. Oh, she was fresh. I think she was freshly fucking. So this was this was a premeditated like. I think she planned to go get naked at this outback steakhouse. Yeah, that's a premeditated fucking mosh pit. So she was just breaking a bunch of shit. Everything. She's standing there on top people, of the like, just like, yo, what are you doing? There are people like? taking videos of her, and she's saying, like, call my sister. And people are like, ma'am, who the fuck is your sister? Well, yeah, get her on the phone. Get her on the horn, somebody. Someone had to try to get a hold of her. Get, get her a chopper or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's all the people lost it. And then the, the cops show up. Or, like, a single cop. Did you find out up. why? Like, was she like, yo, my blooming onion? I don't know. I, I didn't read, like, the whole... I just saw the video, and then that's all I needed to see. She's, Classic internet. She didn't get her blooming onion. She was like, I'm getting fucking naked and oh. destroying this place. She didn't get her blooming, blooming onion, so she showed her blooming fucking... Yeah, waffle. Her, her <laughs> uh, oh, uh, that's disgusting. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I... Want to like? Of course, this happened in Florida. Obviously, where else would it happen? If have you ever been at like, what restaurant do you think if they like really hurt you? Because clearly, this woman was hurt by Outback. That I would, I would. That you would just like, yo, dick and balls on the fucking bar, and you're just launching shit. Uh I like probably like a TGI Fridays because I'd be like, how dare you, res like disrespect me in here, uh -huh, like uh -huh, I'm. Yeah. Like, I came in here for, like, a margarita or something, and I know the food's dog shit, and you're still going to disrespect me? Yo, hold on. TGI Fridays is not the worst of the chain restaurant, like, food. It's a chain restaurant. Yeah, but, like, their appetizers aren't the worst. I'm not going to sit here and debate. Like, I don't have it no, in me. No, like, come on. They don't have, like, they have, like, those, like, Jack Daniel burgers. Those aren't the worst. I'm not saying they're the worst. I'm saying that, like, if I go into a TGI Fridays and I'm sitting in a nice, comfy booth... There are some restaurants that I wouldn't even dare sit in, like a White Castle or a fucking Taco Bell. If you're sitting in these places, you need Watch your help. fucking Taco Bell slander. I won't fucking take it. First of all, I, I like Taco Bell, but that's a drive through food. You're not wrong. You eat that in the car. You're you don't eat it sitting down. If you in eat inside house. a Taco Bell by yourself. Oh my God. I'll, pa I'll pass you the gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that one you're going to need to call somebody. But, yeah, I think Taco Bell would be my pick. Or, like... Oh, if they fucked you... If they fucked me, I'd go in naked and I'd just run amok. Do you remember the Taco Bell? They probably wouldn't even care, dude. They, they probably wouldn't even, like, wash the counter. They'd be like, yo, this is fucking Wednesday. Yeah, I think that people probably run naked into, like, these kind of places all the time. Outback State... Uh, state hello. Outback's... <laughs> The Outback Steakhouse. Yep. This is probably not typical for them because they're more of like a family friendly, like I, down on dock. I would think in Florida. Well, Florida, anything. I mean, it's the Wild West down there. It's it's the it's down under, and it's the Wild West. Yeah. You're getting. You're, I think I'm on it. I don't think so. I think I am there. <laughs> Wild West. No, that's not what I said. Yep. It's down under and the Wild West. Yeah, see, yes, I'm that was good. bad. That was pretty good. But anyway, the Bloomin' Onion. By the way, m might be a dumb question. Mm -hmm. What is the Bloomin' Onion? So it looks like an onion that is blooming like a flower. You're right. But, but is it just straight onion? It's onion, but they batter it yeah. and they fry it. Right. So it's like, it's like onion rings, but you can like pick the piece off. Right. I will say, I've had one. It's very good. I... It, am I the only one who thinks... And the reason why I'm asking this oh, is because no. that's what I thought it was. Oh, no. And, like, am I the only one who thinks that, like, just eating onions is nuts? Well, they're, like, cooked because they're fried. Yeah, but... It's you, don't like, you don't like onion rings? They're okay. I, no, I don't. Onion rings are the most unappreciated fucking side dish in America. They're not better than, like, mozzarella sticks, fries. Mozzarella sticks is not a side dish. That's an appetizer. They are definitely better than fries. I will take onion rings over fries any fucking day, dude. Are you fucking sick in the face? No, I am I am correctly where I need to be. They get a dumb mouth on you, don't you know that? Fuck you, my mouth An is... onion ring is better than a, a fry... If I accidentally... Bro, don't even get me fucking dude, started on dude. this. Dude, you go, close your eyes. Let me ask you a question, close too. Close your eyes. You like those chip onion rings, too? Like the chips? You know the chips? Like you get like a bag of chips and it's like, oh, onion rings. Funyuns? No. 
They're called onion rings. They're called Funyuns. It's a green bag, you dumb They're bitch. They're called Funyuns. Well, I'm not having fucking fun anymore. Oh, I can't wait to show with you that they're called Funyuns. There's onion rings. They're called onion rings. Maybe there's multiple types that are called onion this rings. This is a very famous onion ring brand. Yeah, this one? Green bag. No, that that is them. The but Funyuns. Like Everyone in the world knows they're Funyuns. It's not that bag. It's a different bag. Onion ring chips. But Funyuns are gross. No, they're not. They're not good. I know what you're talking about. Those are the ones you're talking about. And what does it say on it? Onion rings. Bang, bang, But everyone, poop. whenever they have them, they don't say, oh, let me go get onion ring chips. They say, yo, Funyuns. Whatever. Not fun. They're gross. Onion rings are eons better than fries. Okay, eons. Relax, fucking Elon Musk. You get, you get the fucking, you get the spice of the, of the onion. The spice! You get the crunch of the outside. It's fucking delicious. You can get that from a, a waffle fry, bro. A waffle fry? A waffle fry? I, I'm eating a whole potato if I'm having a waffle fry. Those things are fucking massive. What about a fucking, uh, what's your favorite kind of fry? Um, you uh, got steak, you got, you got string, you got fucking, uh, 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 regular shit, and yeah. then they're, um, waffle, and then what's the fucking big ass one? The wedges. Wedges is you're eating half a potato. You don't, so is waffle fry. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't really like I will, Oh, I will, then there's like Cajun curly ones. I will, oh, curly fries. I will say... Curly fries your favorite fry? I will say, of, the, of what you just named, I would say I would prefer curly fries. However, if it came to like fries or onion rings, I'm taking onion rings any fucking day. You're a sick puppy. I don't like fries, dude. What? I don't like fries that much because I want, with fries... That's racist. That's against, not racist. Against the Irish. <laughs> They, they've had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't, like, it's either too crunchy, or it's too soft, or inside, it's like mashed potatoes. They're too big. They're fucking not good. The best of what you named are curly fries. Dude, waffle fries, you're eating a whole fucking potato. It's too like much. I don't like waffle fries. It's too much. Yeah, I don't like those. Of the fries, of all the fries, though, I'll take sweet potato fries. I do like sweet potato I fries. I like sweet potato fries, too. But... I like steak fries. Cause they're huge. I mean, I don't relax with the huge. They're fucking massive. I like dipping them into sauces. <laughs> like What's barbecue sauce. Yeah? You're yeah. a barbecue sauce dipper? I like that. Yeah. I used to go to Wingstop, and I would they, they had their fries dipped into their blue cheese. Boobs, let me tell you. <laughs> they were fucking Boobs. good. Yeah, dude. You, I kind of like... I want to eat like a spicy wing right now for some reason. Do you? Want, uh, I had lunch before I got here. I mean, I really want to get like a spicy wing and eat it and cry and stuff. I can tell you, the last time I had Wingstop, my body made it into a puddle. Yeah, I mean, so it's not chicken what they have. That goes in a solid and comes out a sludge. Mm, yeah, it comes out a mudslide. It, yeah, it does, and it just spits out of you. Oh, what's the good. hottest? Do you remember when we were when we would go to to Hooters? I would always order nine one one wings. Is that like their hottest? Thing? That's no. They have like fucking like. Remember we said like they have like uh, Chernobyl Island or whatever oh, yeah. is their hottest. <laughs> but I remember because they're hot. They're regular. I've always liked spicy food. Yeah. But their nine one one wings are, hot. They're hot, but they're good. Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings. Though. Have you ever had Buffalo Wild Wings? No, I've never. I don't think I've ever been to a Buffalo Wild Wings. I've been to there. There's not. A, there's not any around here. I don't think. The the closest one is in Flushing. Or Whitestone. One Flushing? Whitestone. Whitestone. You know where there's like that Target and uh, yes, Babies yes. R Us and yeah. shit. There's, there's one right there. Okay. And uh, I like it, their wings. But <laughs> I like it, their wings? I like it, their wings. <laughs> I like it, their wings. But I like, <laughs> I like recently saw, like they like bottle their sauces and sell it. Yo, do you know like one serving of their sauce is like 90% of your daily intake on salt? Really? It's fucking wild, dude. dude. Is hot sauce? Yeah, hot sauce is salty as fucking titties. It's well, it's it's salt, vinegar, and fucking like pepper. Yeah, that's really all it is. Yeah, I want a spicy wing right now. You can eat a spicy chip. You know, like hot that show, Hot Ones with Sean Evans. Get us on there. Someone tweeted recently. Yeah, hold on. Let me get, let me call him on the phone. Oh, oh, don't pretend like you YouTube elite don't talk to each other. I. <laughs> Let me see that fucking group text with you and David Dobrik and fucking Nikki Marks. It's a random group of people. <laughs> um, no, I've, I've always thought about like if I was ever on that show, if I would be able to complete that. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a lot of faith in me. I do you want to do like I can get a bunch of hot sauces and we can do a hot sauce I think sauce they actually sell the sauces. They do. They do. They, do. they sell their hot sauces. I would like 
I would be down to try it, but I really think that I'd be scared. Oh, I'd be scared too. I'd be like, sh- like shaking, dude. There's the one sauce that they use. I think consistently that they it's called like da bomb. Yeah, and because I watch that show quite a bit, no one tastes it and it's like this is delicious. They taste it and like this is just heat to fuck you up. Yeah, there's no flavor to it whatsoever. I think the chip that you had though that was, was bad. Hotter. That was bad. I think that's hotter than like all that shit. I'll tell you this, the chip, when we go to, by the way, patreon.com slash the basement yard, uh, go support us there. Uh, we did the one chip challenge, and by we, I mean me, because Joey had health stuff going on and couldn't do it. <laughs> I had acid reflux, bad. I took that chip, and it was hot, but the part that fucked me up was what it did to my stomach. I was like, okay. Like, it wasn't too, too bad. And I know, like, our buddy Mike Priori did recently on his Twitch stream, or, or, or with, with his show, he ate the world's hottest gummy bear, and he said the same thing. He's like, yo, the heat wasn't that bad. It's the stomach ache you get from the heat. Really? Dude, remember on the chip thing, it said, like, what you're going to feel. It's like first um, minute, n- not too bad. Second minute to five minutes is going to be, like, intense heat in your mouth. And then it was like, and then it's, it, it said, like, someone's going to be punching you in the stomach. And I went, my stomach hurt so bad. As soon as, I had to leave the episode. Do you remember? No. Because I went and I spit out my asshole. <laughs> it was fucking awful, dude. It hurt so I bad. spit out my asshole. It was... <laughs> Yo, I hate those poops. <laughs> I hate those poops. Sometimes you could just feel your butt actually spit. You but... And you've never done... Uh, well, you did the enema, which is also on Patreon, patreon.com. That one was a spitty poop. But oh, you... God, that is such a gross term. You never... It is. But you've never taken a, like a, a medical-grade laxative, have you? No, I did. No. I couldn't believe it. You've done it? I had to. I've gotten a couple colonoscopies. Oh, I'm probably going to have to do one soon. You should. I mean, for your general health. Every, every man out there over the age of like 25, get one at least. You yeah. know? It... I couldn't believe like how it worked. I'm like low key excited for that. You're saying that now? <laughs> You're not gonna be excited. Slamming poops, dude. You can go Does buy. You get, do you have a stomach ache or it's just like I just got I got to shit? No, it it's it was just like bubbles. It was just like bubbles. <laughs> yeah, like I, I remember. Do you fart a lot. You fart a lot. No. Oh damn. Because every 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 fucking everything you feel coming, you're like you know this is worse. Like this is gonna be worse than <laughs> just you know like something safe. I love to, it's like you're drinking chalk or whatever the fuck. This one was like, mine was just like clear liquid. It wasn't like, people talk about it, it's like a chocolate liquid. No, 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 no. This one was just like, you put water in it and it's just like down the hatch. And you're fucked up for about a day. Bon appetit. Dude, it's rough. That's crazy. It take it took, I think it took mine like two, three hours to work. I know that you have a story about, uh, your, like you, something happened to you in a bathroom. Oh yeah, you, we'll you talk. haven't told me yet, so I'm going to do the ads okay. and then you can get into that. Yeah. But I just don't want to lose that spot because I'm very interested. Because like, the way that Frankie framed it to me was like, some, <laughs> this is what he says. He goes, <laughs> something happened to me in a bathroom and I think it's time to talk about it. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. what? I was like, all right, cool. Let me know. Um, all right, so let's get to these ads. Speaking of bathroom, something just slipped out of me. Not a poop, but some air. Some dirty air. It's getting wet in here. It's not getting wet. It's starting to get hot. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Next. Next. First, uh, we have BetterHelp. BetterHelp uh, supporting the show, as always. Uh, and BetterHelp will uh, assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. So if you want to do some online counseling, talk to a therapist. BetterHelp is a great way to get started with that. You can start communicating just under 48 hours, and they make it very seamless to switch from person to person. Uh, from counselor to counselor, you have to find the right one, obviously. Um, they make that a very seamless thing. Um, and there you can do video chat or talk on the phone or, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to talk to them. Um, but it's great. A lot of people I know are, are using better help uh, because they just started, you know, doing therapy. Uh, it's committed to facilitating the great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Uh, it's more affordable than tra- traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available as well. Um, so you can also get 10% off of, uh, this already affordable form of therapy, uh, by going to betterhelp.com slash yard. Um, again, that is betterhelp.com slash yard. And you get 10% off of your first month, uh, you know, doing this sort of therapy over a million people have taken, uh, are using this now. 
um, and it's great. Uh, there's a you know recruit. They're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Um, so yeah, go check them out. Betterhelp.com/yard. You get 10% off of your first month. Uh, next, we have Liquid Death. Murder your thirst. Murder your thirst with Liquid Death. Yeah. <clears throat> there it goes. Oh shit. You almost murdered uh, yourself. Liquid Death. It's the it's the hottest water on the market. Not hot water. It's just water, and it tastes very good when it's cold. Um, it's in a can. Uh, there, you know, they they uh, try to, you know, go with this route of like we're gonna murder your thirst, and also we're gonna murder the plastic because you know the plastic in the world, well, all these water bottles or whatever, it's in it's getting into the ocean, and the fucking the turtles are dying from you and your stupid plastic, you piece of garbage. All right. So, with, uh, with uh, Liquid Death, we get it in a nice recyclable can. That's nice. Okay, you can crush that up. You can shotgun them if you want. We've we, done it. We've done that. I, I damn near drowned. It was an enjoyable okay. experience. It is an enjoyable experience. And it's also just a good water. Like, I used to be one of those people like, you can't tell between waters or whatever, but it's better than other brands that I'm not going to mention because I don't know if they're going to get mad at me. Probably not because they're very nice people. Dasani. But fucking trash! <laughs> There, there goes that sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Fucking out of whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, Liquid Death is also available in Whole Foods or Seven Eleven. It's going to be in the aisle. Okay, it's going to look like a beer. You're probably going to be like, "Is that Modelo? Is that a Tall Boy? What's going on over there?" No, it is water, and it's fucking good. Uh, go to LiquidDeath.com/basement right now to get a free set of koozies with your first order of any case of water, or just grab some at any Whole Foods or 7-Eleven, like I said. Uh, the cases, they're going to run out fast. Get a few cases. And they also look cool as shit. They do. You look do. cool drinking water. I mean, isn't that the dream? It is. Always to look cool and badass. <laughs> and to crush your... Oh, no, murder. one to often speak about my exploits in the restroom that's one way to put it i, I I'm, I'm a bit private with my bathroom life because i also not not only do i just i think it's stupid to talk about but like i, I just I, i'm not a big fart joke or poop joke guy yeah i think it's stupid we're on a different side of the fence on that a little bit yeah you're like always like farty dude i walked in you ripped two farts i swear to god i thought your couch broke i <laughs> I swear to God, I said, I was like, yo, was that your couch? If I'm being honest, that first one scared me because I didn't know that was coming. You've never heard me fart. No. Exactly. So. Exactly. What you, do your farts sound like? Are they like like a tight balloon? Like a eat? <laughs> are they like a whole? I, to be honest with you, I don't even know. You don't, you don't ever feel like, oh my God, I got to fart so hard. I don't do like those things where like, you know, it's like you're around your significant other and like you're you just don't like blasting. Fart. 
Or no, like the people that are like around their significant other, they don't fart, and then they're finally not around them, and then they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not me. I'm just, I'm just, I just don't like farting. Yeah, like, I, I'm not a farter. Yeah. Um. So it's taken me a lot to speak about this, but something happened to me, and I need to know. Did you fart? No. Oh, that'd be dope. So you know me. The time arises. I need to find a bathroom. Anywhere yeah. I go, I'm like, all right, where's the bathroom? Frank's got 90 seconds uh, at most. <laughs> I went in, I was on the road for work and I stopped into a restaurant and I did the whole like bathroom. Like that. I don't even say like, hi, hello. I'm just bathroom, please. And they're like, oh yeah, 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 bud. <laughs> I, go to, I go to the back and it's a swinging door. Oh, saloon door? Saloon door for a bathroom. For the bathroom? A single one. Not like you can see over and under the top. It's a single, like a kitchen, like going to the kitchen. Wait, fucking wait. Yeah. The, the door to the actual stall is a saloon? Not to the stall, to the bathroom. Oh, oh, so anyone could just peek inside. It's, it's not, no, not a saloon door like you could see above and underneath. It's, it's a swinging door. Oh, so it never shuts. It shuts once you let it. Like once okay. you, like, you push through and it, skugga dunch. Yeah, gotcha. Skugga dunch. Yeah, skugga okay. dunch. So I go and I'm like, all right, I go in. There's no lock on the door. I hate that. There's a stall, but there's no stall. There's just a toilet. And then there's two urinals on the other side of the wall. Wait, is there a door? No. So there's just a dividing wall. No. What the fuck does this look like? Yo, you walk in to this room. You can see the toilet. You can see the toilet. So, let's just say... The sink. Two stalls on the other side of the wall. Stalls? Like, two urinals, I should say. Two urinals. So, wait. So, if hypothetically, if there were two men peeing and one man shifting, and you walked through those doors, you could see this man's, like, thighs, him taking a full shit. And then if someone's peeing, they could turn around and just see this guy taking a shit. So I'm like, so I walk in and I'm like. Wait, is that true? Yes. So imagine this room. The only thing in this room. <laughs> was a toilet. Was a toilet. And then on the other side of the room, two urinals. Now, no privacy. No privacy. Listen, if it was one urinal, I would say, all right, this was intended to be a bathroom for one person. And they just didn't put the lock on the door or they put the wrong door on. Yeah. This was entirely made to be a multi-person bathroom with no stall and now and no lock not, and what was the most hurtful is like i like looked at the walls and the floor there's no like patched up area where there was clearly a stall it was just like we just made this as it is you want a bathroom you got it so it's a prison bathroom it's basically i said a, there's actually more privacy in a prison bathroom no they have like a wall do they? Yeah, at uh, least. I mean, I've never been to prison. Oh, not like in the cell, no. I'm talking about like in like... The... In the cell, you're shitting where you're sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to speak for prison, to be honest. But, yeah, you know. you've never been. Not with this shirt. Not at all. <laughs> but I'm sitting there and I'm like, what kind of fucking design... And it wasn't like an awful restaurant. Like, it was like a good looking restaurant. Like, it was like a nice restaurant. It wasn't the worst place I'd ever been. Don't judge a book by its cover. Apparently not. So I'm like, what do I do? Because I need to use the bathroom, but I don't feel protected in here. <laughs> Bathrooms are supposed to be inviting. You might as well be shitting in the middle of the restaurant. In the sink. Yeah. <laughs> so shitting into the cash register at this point. So I move the garbage can in front of the door. As a block. Blocker. <laughs> garbage cans aren't very strong, Joe. Oh my God. Is there a barge in there? <laughs> So I'm trying, I'm like, yo, like, I, I, it, I was like, yo, I, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm getting anxiety. Yeah, well, you should. All I hear is. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? Someone's trying to open the door. So then finally they open it and push the gar garbage can out the way. And I'm like, like, what do I do? So I'm like. What, what do you say when someone's trying to get into the bathroom? Because you can't say there? I'm in here. It's like, yeah, I know. It's a public restroom. It's a public restroom. I was like, yo. You said yo. I was like, yo, yo. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry. And they let it close. But like, as the door closed, I can see. 
<laughs> you saw it I like saw, swung back. It and then swung back. And the guy's like. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. And I was so fucking upset. Because this, the, the, the fucking ingenuity of this bathroom made me look like a stupid fucking idiot. Dude. I was a very upset man. I don't know what I would do in that situation. I'd be like, oh, this I can't. And then I would not be able to. Then when, like, so like, then I was thinking about the other guy. Like, when does he come in? Does he wait until he hears a flush and then he's like, yo, my bad. And then come in? Or does he wait until I leave? If I walked into a bathroom where a man's just shitting and I could see him in plain sight, I don't care if there's a thousand urinals, I'm leaving. Let's make something very clear. I wasn't like actively shitting. I was getting ready. Like I was like, and I was like going to sit and I hear go 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 and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like half squat. Like, cause when someone like knocks on the bathroom door, you don't like continue, you stop what you're doing. Oh yeah. It's a freeze it's, moment. It's a freeze moment. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, no! What do you usually... When someone knocks on a door and you're in there, what do you say? I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, they know who I am. What do you say? I don't want to so <laughs> I'm in here. <laughs> that's, what I, that's exactly how I say it, too. I, 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 feel, I feel like I purposefully, like... You make a lot of noise like when you're in mumble there? mumble my... Like, I'll, yeah, I'll do that, too. You'll just go in and just be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if some, but if someone knocks on it, I'll say, "Yo, win!" <laughs> like I'll just make noises, like purposefully. <laughs> like I'm just like I don't know why. You're not one of those comedians that goes occupado. No, <laughs> thank God, occupado. I'd be like, okay, I'm kicking this door in. <laughs> if I go to a bar and they have like separate stalls, mm-hmm. I'm like, this place rocks. Oh, separate, like these like new age bars now. Love it. That have like, it's like a hallway and each door is its own bathroom. I, yes. I'm all about that. Dude, I'm coming back just for, just to take a dump. Just for the bathroom experience, I'm there. If I, if I know I'm at a place like that, then I'm like, oh dude, I'm fucking, I'm getting cheat like a cheesy something. Like I'm gonna eat cheese right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you eat cheese and all of a sudden the stomach's like, bro, we gotta take a dip. A lot of those, though, you gotta be careful. They can make you feel a little claustrophobic, though, because it's like, the room is this big. Bro, I've shit on an airplane, which is like shitting in a fucking envelope. But at least there, you can hold the door. You know what I mean? Like, in an airplane, yeah, like, but also, you, can like, touch, you can wash your hands as you're on the toilet. I can also lock the door. I mean, I can't even imagine someone, like, walking in on you on a fucking airplane door. It, like, folds up, like, one of those, like... Yeah, it folds up like a fucking... Yeah. What are those things in like... Origami. That's it. <laughs> no, I was thinking. But I was really, like, upset. Dude, that's like a not a cool bathroom This situation. place needs... What's the coolest bathroom you remember? The coolest bathroom I remember? I remember there was this karaoke spot on Steinway. It's still there. Karaoke Shout. Shout? Yeah, Karaoke Shout, it's called. They're... Sing. Is that where we went that one time and that girl was singing Face Down? Yes. That was a good song. She wasn't Face Down singing. She no, no, was no. singing a song called Face, face Down. Down. Red jumpsuit apparatus. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking being Face Down. That's where we sang Creed and Stunt 101. I mean, that's we sing that everywhere. Uh, uh, yeah. By the way, there were people, I don't know, this is, has nothing to do with the podcast, but yesterday someone was here, my old neighbors who live next door. And he was talking about, I was like, yo, there used to be this cool bar that was under the train and like blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I think it's called like Last Stop. And I was like, no, it's called Dittmar Station. He's like, yeah. I was like, dude, me and Frankie have been in there like karaokeing so hard when we were like 19. I have so many fond memories of that place. I don't even want to think about them because I've been super like having like a bit of an existential crisis with time as of late. Uh, Ah, yes. Um, (laughs) But that place, we used to, we, I swear to God. If the owners didn't know we were 18 when we were there, they're they were fucking idiots. They were stupid. Yeah. They were very There's dumb. There's nothing like I did not look old. I remember <laughs> one time I went there and I was so drunk, but also so broke. Yep. And we were taking shots and I was like talking with the, uh, the, the, the woman bringing us, you know, the bartender or the waitress or what have you. And she, I go, do you want to take a shot with us? She's like, oh, no, 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 I, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm like, come on, just take a shot with us. You know, I wasn't being like creepy. I was just like, you know, like we were being nice to her. She's like, all right. She took a shot with us, whatever. I got the bill and it, and it was like, <laughs> she, put, she put her shot on there. <laughs> and me being a fucking child, 
not knowing, like the common courtesy is like if you buy a shot for the bartender or or a waitress, like you you buy it for them. Right. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm fucking three sheets to the wind. Like, listen, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> that wasn't nice. It took advantage of me. It didn't took advantage, and she was like, "Oh my god!" Like I'm so sorry. If that didn't t- tip her off as to like me yeah. being fucking prepubescent, what, or what the time we went and you're like, "Yo, we're getting Skittle shots." That was another time I remember. That was the first time I ever had that, but they did taste like Skittles. I remember, um, I so in in college I took a mixology class, and at the end of the course we got like our tips certification, which was like the certified to be a bartender or whatever. And one of the things was like how to spot people that are underage, and it's like they order drinks that don't go together. And all I could think of since then is remembering one of our friends being out. <laughs> oh man. And being like, yo, let me get a Grey Goose and vodka. <laughs> I was like, a Grey Goose and vodka. I remember hearing that story and be like, how fucking stupid are you? But they, they do it all the time. They were like, I remember one person was like, um, fucking like, oh, like, let me get a, a Johnny Walker and, and a soda. Yeah, like, what? What are you doing, dude? Yeah. I used to order old fashions when, oh. so that people would think that I was. 21. That's what I did at that Irish bar on, a, on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> no, Frankie goes, we have to blend. We were like 18 or 17. Yeah. And we got into this bar because they didn't card. And then Frankie goes, we need to blend in. And we, <laughs> he, oh, he ordered- also, also, let's talk. It was St. Patrick's Day. We were in Manhattan for the parade on 2nd Avenue where it was like known yeah. that it was wild. Yeah. And Frankie's like, we need to blend in. And he ordered two Guinness. <laughs> and they're fucking delicious. And they're not. I love Guinness. I hate them. And I I went to uh we went to a club that used to be over here. Remember Studio Thirty Four? Yes. I went there and ordered Patron and Sprite. Wow, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the night I stole mustard from the deli. You did. Yeah, that's exactly that night. I remember that's that. That's exactly that night. That's also the night that there was um uh a, what's the term dwarf? Little person. Little person. Yeah. Being. I'm not fucked up for saying this. They were being passed around mm-hmm. like a trophy. Right. And it was one of the funniest things I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. It's kind of wild. Can you believe that? Do you remember that fucking... One time a little person got me real drunk, dude. One time a little person got me real drunk, yeah. I was at, it was like a soccer game, and he was dressed as like Uncle Sam, and he was on the bar, and he was pouring shots in my mouth. This like little guy, yeah. <laughs> he was like an older dude. He was kind of scary looking, too. He had like, a, a, like an Irish tattoo on him. I was like, I'm not fucking with this dude. I know exactly where that was. Yep. Rocky McBride's. Yep. yep. <laughs> and I, I was there, and this guy just got me fucking hammered because, you know, the U- I think the U.S. was playing like fucking. It was I, the I, World Cup. I remember that. Belgium, maybe. Probably lost, but he got me fucked up, dude. I remember that. And also, there was a girl there who was like, yo, if the U.S. beats uh, whoever we played, I forgot, I'll show everyone my tits. And we were like, oh, man, we were like, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, and then the U.S. lost. So then she didn't have to show us her tits, but she did. Oh, <laughs> It's a true story. I was like, what the fuck? Where Same day going? as a little person. Fucked my ass up, dude. What a, what a day that is. Yeah, it was a crazy day. Speaking of political correctness, mm-hmm. uh, this is something that I saw that I I asked you. So this is, let's pull back the curtain a little bit. When Joey and I get here, a lot of what, when we talk about what we're going to talk about on the show, it's like, yo, did you see this? And it's like, no. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not telling you. Right, yeah. I'll tell you on the show. Yeah. And... <laughs> This one in particular, I asked you if you saw, and you said no. Right. So I know, okay, so just so everyone knows, Kid Rock, not the most progressive guy. Surprise! Surprise, the South will rise again. Well, he's actually uh, from Detroit, isn't he? Yeah. He's like not a he, country star. He's just like a fucking cigarette I th- smoking. I think he just made the decision to be southern one day I, yeah i think he like took a trip to like fucking like birmingham and it was like i'll make this he's my like career. nashville i am gonna live here now nashville's even a little too north for him i would say but i would consider that to be like southern culture like whatever nashville's a great time though. i've never been i want to go we need to go bad although our friend nashville ryan is leaving he's coming here yeah so he's gonna be new york ryan that's now. fine we can take him back um but so he was on stage and uh, people were like recording him and he uh, called everyone a faggot. So not very that. progressive of y'all. Yeah. So he said that, uh, and it was actually funny because like when that started trending, I clicked on the trend and I was like reading tweets, and then <laughs> everyone was just going like, "What? Kid Rock? <laughs> How? 
What do you mean? Well, appa- I guess, uh, apparently, uh, I mean, from big, everything... Big relate- Trump guy, big, like, uh, I'm Confederate just, I'm, flag guy. I'm shocked. Because I don't know Kid Rock. I know two songs from him. Ba with to Ba. And... Uh, you know Cowboy. Ca- oh, I know three songs. Ba with to Ba, Summer of 69. Um, <laughs> That's Brian Adams. <laughs> which one is the... Um, all Summer Long. All Summer Long and Cowboy. No, and you know... Um, Fuck my ass. Uh, picture. I don't know. Fuck your picture. ass. Picture. I put your picture away. Okay, I know four songs by Kid Rock. Yeah. Um, but I never would have thought. Nobody knows five, by the way. Those are the four. Uh, are like, <laughs> no one knows five. People, and if they do, red flag. Oh, yeah. Big time. Um, and if you can get six, leave. But for, call it what you want. I never would have guessed that he was progressive. No, no, no. A- at all. You know, he and, looks like an old cat. And forget about like the Trump connection. I just looking at him, look at Kid Rock and say that this looks like someone that like is not a racist. Kid Rock looks like cousin it's like cigarette smoking cousin. Yes, that sits on the porch in a rocking chair. Yeah. Just like talking about I'm not going to do it, but you know what I'm you yeah. know where I'm going. He just looks like an old pissed off cat. <laughs> Doesn't he? He looks like Grumpy Cat. Yeah, like Kid Rock just looks like an old pissed off cat. So, um, you know who he looks like? Oh, man. What fucking show? There was like an old cartoon where it was like a caveman with really long hair and a fucking club. God, I wish I remember the name of it. I don't fucking know. But. Yeah. Get to this thing. I'm very curious. He called he called on stage. He used, he used a gay slur. Yeah. A fucked up slur. Yep. Uh, and Because people were recording him. He was like, fuck your iPhones. You guys are all fucking slurs. So... From what I had seen, no one had said anything about, like, you know, like, Kid Rock didn't mean to use this. You know, good old Kid Rock. But until now. And someone tweeted from his official Kid Rock account. Someone or him? Someone. How do you know it wasn't him? Because they signed it at the bottom. Their name? Yeah. This might be Kid Rock's real name. What's the... What is Kid Rock's real name? I mean, it's not Kid Rock. I'm going to look at it right now. It's probably, like... Kenneth uh, Rockford or something. Oh, my God. He's listed as an American rapper. Yeah, dude. He was a rapper. No, he wasn't. Yeah, Ba What the Ba is a rap song, I think. Robert James Ritchie. Exactly what I thought his name would be. Robert James Ritchie? That sounds like someone that would shoot a president. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't it? Robert James Ritchie killed JFK. Yeah. Um, so, So someone tweeted from his account. I don't think it was him. It, oh, it was. It was him. Oh, Robert James Ritchie. It was. Well, they signed it Bob Ritchie. Oh, of course. So it is him. Okay, good. Uh, I went to his Wikipedia. His name, his birth name, Robert James Ritchie, also known as Bobby Shazam. <laughs> Perfect. Are you kidding me? You saw Woody Harrelson apparently changed his name to Swoosh Harrelson. Swoosh? <laughs> Swoosh. It's a cool name. That's really cool. So the tweet reads, and it's very quick, easy. Um... Forgive me for the word I'm going to use, but I'm simply reading it. Uh, The end of the tweet said, well, I'll read the whole tweet. It says, um, if Kid Rock... (laughs) Wait, he's talking in... In the third person. Okay. Yeah. If Kid Rock using the word faggot offends you, good chance you are one. (laughs) He said that? Either way... I know he has a lot of love for his gay friends, and I'll have a talk with him. Have a nice day from Bob Ritchie. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? This guy, he didn't just double down, he fucking tripled down Dude, on it. Bob Rock? Trick, tr- trick, trick rock. What am I saying? <laughs> Trick Rock said that, dude. He said, he, he didn't even say, like, I'm sorry I used that word. It was wrong. He said, like, yo, if that offends you, it probably yeah, is yeah. for you. And then and then what was it? I'll talk to him. Why is he talking like this? Either, way, nuts. I, either way, I know he has a lot of love. Either way. Like, oh, just, just forget about it. Like, either way, I know he loves his gay friends, and I'll talk with him. Have a nice day. I'll have a talk with him. That is so fucking stupid and funny and tone deaf at the exact same time. Dude, what does this guy even do day to day? Yeehaw. Do you know what's crazy is that this took days. This took days to figure out like what to say. <laughs> his, his, PR, his PR team was like, looks good. Yeah. Send it out. Yeah. If I was his PR person, I would fucking... Well, someone just quit. That's for sure. Someone's getting fired. Yeah. That's for sure. Yo, that's that's like... 
Do you know that, like, listen, I, I, I truly, truly believe that the term faggot is, like, an ugly fucking word. Like, it is, like, ugh. But to say it in, like, directing it at people and then being, like, if you're upset by it. <laughs> probably, yo, that's insane that he said that. <laughs> and then talking in the third person and then signing it Bob Ritchie. That is one of those tweets that's going to live on in forever. You know, like get it certain, framed for you for your birthday. That would be fucking funny. It's Miles' birthday next weekend. It so is. Maybe I'll show up. <laughs> Can you imagine? Here, Miles, happy birthday. And he's like, "What's this?" It's from Bob Ritchie. Oh my god, I couldn't believe that when I saw it. Yeah, that's a kind of insane. That guy's fucking out of his mind. I, I know he has like a, a bar on like um, uh, in Nashville on like that main strip on Broadway. I, f- I forgot what it's called. It's pro- I think it's called like Honky Tonk. <laughs> I'm serious. I really think it's oh called that. Oh my god! Like something about honky tonk. What does that even mean, honky? Isn't honky like a white dude? Like a. Fancy? I think honky tonk is just like a like it's like a term of endearment. I like, oh, that's like, that's oh that's honky tonk. Oh, I know. I thought it was like a genre of music. Like play the honky tonk stuff. I don't know. I really don't know what it is. I don't know either. There's the song "Honky Tonk Woman" by the Rolling Stones. There's the honky tonk man. Yeah, honky tonk man. WWE Hall of Famer. Yeah, of course. Uh, he's not dead. Well, you know, he's up. He's, he's got to be up there. He's got to be elsewhere. He's probably on a plane he's somewhere. Not, yeah, he's not here. He's somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, what is the term honky tonk? Should I look it up? I think you should. I, I think it's a genre of music, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what did you Google? <laughs> I forgot that I zoomed in on it. Uh, honky tonk. Um, honky tonk. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a musical style. A honky tonk is, is both a bar. A honky tonk is both a bar that provides country music for the entertainment of its patrons and the style of music played in such establishments. Oh, so a honky tonk is a is a place and a, a thing. Is a bar, I guess. I don't know. That's there cool. is a bar called Honky Tonk. Where? In in Nashville. Oh, so maybe yeah. it is him. We actually when we I mean, went if to you Nashville, were to tell me name a bar in Nashville and I said honky tonk, I. I mean, that's almost a guaranteed, even not having been there, I would have What was the it. other one called? It was called, like... Fucking Bluegrass? It was, like, Slippers or something. I don't know. <laughs> it, was like, it was, like, a famous place. It was, like, the first place we went to. I used to remember the name of it, but now I don't know. Oh. But I remember we were in Honky Tonk, and there's a car on the wall. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. And then uh, I remember, like, because when you're in Nashville, you can Venmo the band and request a song. And I remember while we were there, Danny was with us, and he requested that the band play Landslide, I think. <laughs> right? Which would have just brought the mood way down. Way down. Which is probably why he did it. And they didn't. And, I, and then the next day, he, like, commented on the Venmo and was like, can I have my money back because you didn't play Landslide? <laughs> and they were like, no. That's fucked up. They just took the Landslide money. Well, how much did he give them? I think it was like five bucks. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, it was still five bucks. I was like, going to say, knowing Danny, he Venmoed them like 600 bucks. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, play fucking landslide now. Did you fart? Yo, it smells like a dumpster. You don't smell that? No. I didn't fart. I might be having a brain I farted injury. way back there. <laughs> Maybe it like fucking walked its way around the room and finally got to me. It could be the honky tonk, man. It could be the honky tonk in no, here. we were talking about before. Um, but yeah, I mean... Fucking kid rock, man. Rock and roll, you know? More rock and roll. Well, he's an American rapper, let so... Me ask you, let me ask you this. The yeah. woman that was, like, kicking all over the plates or whatever, in, in, uh, whatever, did she look like Kid Rock? <sighs> Better question. She, Do you think she listens to Kid Rock? She definitely listens to Kid Rock. She she has the lyrics of Ba with to Ba on her. Yo, Kid Rock got me in trouble when I was a kid once because I, my neighbor had his CD. Okay. And his CD was just this. Seriously? It was just a picture of a middle I, finger. You know, I hate to admit it. I think I had his CD too. It was just a picture of a middle finger on the CD. And it was in my house and my mom found it. And she was like, what the ever loving fuck is this? And I got in trouble. Um, I'm going to look up his first album because I'm pretty sure I had this. It's prob- Isn't it called like Running with the Devil or something? Or like Rolling with a Question? Or uh, oh, <laughs> yep. Kid Rock, Devil. It, it, it is the middle finger. <laughs> rolling with the devil or no, I said rolling with a question. <laughs> it's just devil without a cause. <laughs> rolling with a question. Oh man, that's good. Rolling with a question. That's a good song, man. 
That's not good. That's exactly. Oh yeah, when he that's when he was like an, actually like a rapper. Like when he was younger, he had like his hair straight Damn. up in the air. Damn. What is he was called like Kid Kid Electric or Kid, kid Rock? Oh, I thought it was like Shock Top kid, or something. Kid Rock. Oh man, let's listen to some Kid Rock. Today. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. Maybe on uh, next week's Patreon episode where we do the Power Hour, or by the time this comes out, it'll be this week's Patreon episode, right? Yes. It'll be out for the patrons, so yes, the patrons yes, yes. will see. But patreon.com slash basement yard. Go check Patreon, it out. Yeah, we're doing a uh, we're doing a power hour, which means that we're gonna take a shot of beer every minute uh, for an hour on the show. And uh, you get pretty drunk, so I think it'll be off the rails sooner than later. We get very drunk. Yeah, so very drunk. It's gonna be an interesting episode for sure. It'll and also hurt. the last Patreon episode we put out was probably one of my favorite oh my God. episodes we've ever done. That is yeah, absolutely. It was it, we did like the mo- the most grindable songs. Yep. So like shocker, Sean Paul's on there. Come on, obviously <laughs> I mean, more than once he's on there. At least. Yeah. So you know, t- that's what happens when people like they just grind on you, and you turn your dick into a fucking mashed potatoes. I'm hot and I have a short sleeve shirt on. How are you not dead right now? I don't know. I'm controlling my body temp at the moment. Oh, are you Buddha Joe now? No, I'm not. I was, I was gonna say it's only a matter of time. Um, but we could wrap this up, Frank. Where can they find you? The Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram, and then check me out on Twitter, F Alvarez eight zero eight five. I am. I got my second match in the Schmodown, June twenty third. Oof. June twenty third. I'm playing down. a girl whose nickname is the Sleeper. Time to wake up because you're going back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> that's a. Go check it out. Movie trivia Schmodown. Watch me compete in uh, some movie trivia goodness, baby. June twenty third. It's going down. Uh, yeah, and you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And like we were saying earlier, uh, the Patreon, you get every episode a week ahead, and you get an extra episode that no one else gets except the patrons every single Friday. And you get access to all the extra episodes that we've done um, over the fucking years. Um, so that is, yeah, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard, and that is all. See you guys next time. You do it next time. Do it next time. Yeah. yeah. Next time. Next time we think you gonna do it. We're gonna fix you up something to do. Next time. Yeah.